welcome to the video presentation on substation maintenance and transformer augmentation. In this presentation, you will see the preventive maintenance of pole mounted substation. Preventive maintenance covers transformer oil level check, oil leakage from transformer tank or from its radiator. Check for transformer bushings for any damage or hairline crack. The condition of HT joints and LT terminations. Condition of silica gel in breather and taking off sample of transformer oil to check the BDV of oil. Hello, I am Rajesh Jaiswal from Tata Power Delhi Distribution Limited, Delhi. You can see that the double pole DP structure is surrounded by tree branches. It is difficult to climb the DP structure to do maintenance. We will first need to trim the trees. Then check for loose points of connection, where the jumpers are burnt and replace them. This is a tree cutter. We will use it to trim the branches of the trees. Now the trimming is being carried out with the help of saw after climbing on the DP structure. Now the trimming is being carried out manually around the DP structure. First, we need to remove the branches that are hindering our work. This is breather unit of the transformer. You can see that the silica gel has absorbed moisture and its color has turned from blue to pink. We will replace it with fresh blue colored silica gel. The pink silica gel needs to be replaced. This is because it cannot absorb any more moisture from the transformer. The pink silica can be reused after heating it for removal of moisture. It will again turn blue. Now, you will see how to replace the pink silica gel with blue gel. Further, we will see how oil is replaced from the cup fitted under the breather. The air taken in by transformer passes through to breather through this oil cup. The cup absorbs the dust and impurities of air and the clean air passes to the breather for absorbing moisture. Let us now see how to replace the dirty oil from the cup. As you can see, the breather oil cup is filled with fresh oil. By filling of the oil in cup, all the dust particles get deposited into the oil and cannot reach the silica gel. Now, our breather is ready to be refitted to the transformer. As you can see, we are now collecting transformer oil from the outlet valve for testing the breakdown voltage, BDV, of the oil. We will take this oil sample to the laboratory and test its BDV. The BDV should be 40 kV. If the BDV is less, then we have to replace the entire oil of the transformer or dehydration of oil can be done by oil filtering machine. After the oil is collected, all the parts and units have to be cleaned. Then, cleaning of HT and LT bushing of transformer is carried out. Now, let us know about augmentation of transformer. It is done in view of the regular increase of power demand. Distribution companies regularly enhance the current carrying capacity of lines and rating of transformers to meet the demand raised by consumers. In this case, consumer has applied for additional sanctioned load. As such, transformer augmentation along with higher rating cable and LT air circuit breaker, LT ACB augmentation is being carried out. I am Surendra Kumar Yadav, Assistant Officer in Tata Power. You can see that there are two transformers. We have installed a new 400 kVA transformer in the place of 315 kVA transformer. You can also see that we have prepared a safety zone around the DP structure where the transformer is placed. The lines are grounded with shorting chains. Single core 95 square millimeter cable leads are connected on HT side up to the new transformer. 
These are the two LT ACBs of 400 amperes placed on channels below the transformer. You can see 4 by 300 you can see 4 by 300 square millimeter cable is coming out from the LT bushing of transformer. This is laid for onward connection to ACB. You can see the line man crimping the 300 square millimeter cable thimble or socket at the LT bushing of transformer. There are four service line connections. These service connections will be further made to connect for service cables from ACB to consumer end. This will complete the connection work. You can see that this is the LT cable. One end of this cable is fixed to transformer LT bushing using a crimping tool. The other end of the LT wire will be connected at the back of LT ACB terminals. This is the wooden cleat. This is used for supporting the LT cable so that extra stress due to its weight may not exert on the transformer. LT bushing. It is fixed to mild steel MS frame so that LT cable coming out from transformer LT side remains gripped and tight. The painter is painting the name of the substation to identify to which substation it belongs. The transformer particulars like its serial number and the zone name. Also on the transformer, details about its capacity, the make of transformer are written to get proper indexing and record. In this way, augmentation enhances the capacity of substation from 315 kVA to 400 kVA. Thus, additional load of up to 85 kVA can be provided to consumers.